the box office, this is probably one of the worst box office weeks in all of history. Probably. The number one movie of the week is Smile, which of course is a horror movie. This movie is going to eventually make back its money, its budget's only $13 million. This is a movie that is going to probably break even second weekend. Because it's a movie that didn't really cost all too much. It's doing okay it's internationally enough for it to make back its money. Unlike some other movies where they're still struggling kind of internationally. Despite the releasing now finally internationally as well. So yes, Smile, $36 million. A pretty successful movie the already. So yeah. Next is Don't Worry Darling. This movie is still a box office failure. It's doing horribly legs wise. This movie had had a huge amount of box art backlash to it. But they were telling this movie as a major movie too. They were telling this like this is like one of the big movies of the year. But you know it has backlash to it. It's not a part of a franchise. It's a big, big drawback. You also have you know the economic downturn that's going on right now. You know as well and. You even kind of saw a dip in the box office in July when inflation went really high. For the further, again, not a good movie, but DC League of Superpads underperformed. Maybe because of inflation, because people didn't want to go see anything. Because of inflation, which also still makes it even harder for a non franchise movie. It's even even higher. This is what the problem of how. Well, this movie is not, I don't think this movie is that great, but this is a problem of modern day Hollywood. They don't always say, oh yeah, we must see these non franchise movies. No, no, no one. They don't ever say that. Yep. Yeah, they don't say big, watch big franchise movie. No, actually, they promote whatever movies come out. So, but nobody watches. It's the general audience that doesn't watch him. Next is The Woman King. Again, this movie needs to make $125 million to break even. It has only mustered $50 million. It, it is released internationally, finally, but it's not really doing too well in those markets. It was released in Brazil and France, and it's not really doing all too well in Brazil and France. It's not really doing too well in Brazil. It's doing pretty okay in Brazil, but in France, it's not really doing too well. It's not. It's, he's not really doing. It's, it's it's doing okay in Nigeria, you know. It, it, as well, Spain doesn't even have numbers yet. But yeah, this movie hasn't really done too well in many of its international markets yet. And it's gonna continue releasing it. The in many, yeah. In the international performance is abysmal to say at least. So yeah, the Woman King is not gonna make back its money like the rest was probably hoping it would. So yeah, people are always this movie is only having ways because there's nothing coming out. Literally, the only reason why. Okay, next week, Wow Wow Crocodile is coming out, which is the big release of next week. Week. Next is Bros. Yeah, this movie is a box office turd. Box office failure. Uh, this movie needs to be. This is another woke pile of garbage movie that no one wants to see. The reason is all internationally throughout the next month. But considering this, this movie's poor domestic performance, you know, as well, they'll say, oh my god, but man, but Bridesmaids, producer Bridesmaids, Hardy Billion Dollar Grossing Movie. Okay, nobody wants to watch these woke garbage movies, okay? You know, people are sick of them. Nobody wants to watch them, okay? No one wants to watch these types of movies. People want good movies with good stories, good characters. Not these woke garbage movies. Rose is performing very, is even performing worse than Booksmart. Okay, it's performing even worse than Booksmart. Booksmart didn't really do too well either. So, yeah. Next is Avatar's real release. Avatar's real release has pulled Avatar to $1.2.9 billion. Was the drop off was around 55%, but, it but this real release shows that there is some audience, some existing fan base, at least a small one for Avatar. There are some people who are interested in Avatar The Way of the Water. Well, I think it'll make, I don't think Avatar 2 will make $3 billion, though. So it's not going to make $3 billion. They're not gonna get the right knee. They're not gonna get the right knee in the bottle twice. Avatar probably will not pass three billion dollars like some people were hoping for, but yeah, it's not gonna pass three billion dollars. This movie, Polyrem Seven Part One, uh, it's an Indian movie, uh, Bollywood movie. You know, actually, it's oh, it's Korean. I thought it was a Korean. I thought it was a Bollywood movie. 
But yeah. Oh, it is. It is an Indian. It is an Indian movie. It says Hindi. This is Bollywood. Yep, Bollywood movie. Yep. It's uh, these movie. Bollywood movies have been doing better in America, but yeah, Barbarian again. This movie hasn't really done has really done really well. This movie doesn't really have a big budget, and it has done pretty well. So yep, Barbarian. Yeah, and does pretty well. And why Barbarian is about Detroit. That that that. Is, <laughs> Detroit is for Nexus Bowl Trade. This movie has done extremely well at the box office. You know, it has done really well. Past a hundred million dollars, which is very good for this movie. It has done pretty okay internationally as well. Which is pretty good for this movie. This movie has made money, has broken even, and is a successful movie. So next is. DC League of Super Pets. Yep, this movie is a box office failure. It's having good rigs. At the very least, domestically. But internationally, it needs to pick, really pick up the swag internationally. If it really wants to make money like the bad guys did. But it's not really picking up the swag like the bad guys did. But again, the, again, another problem is Wild Wild Crocodile, which is a family film that's coming out next week, is going to really... Destroy this movie. And also, this movie still competed with Minions The Rise of Gru internationally, but it's also killed this movie alongside of inflation. So, yep, this movie is a box office failure. <laughs> yeah. Top Gun Maverick, this movie has made $1.47 billion. It's not going to pass $1.5 billion. But this movie has done extremely well. So well that we're in the month of October and this movie still. We're still talking about Top Gun Maverick. This movie has done so well. We're still talking about Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, we're still talking about Top Gun Maverick at the box office. Okay, we're still talking about it. It's the so and also yeah, it's not gonna make that much more millions of dollars. But yeah, next is Seattle one again. This movie don't doesn't have a budget, so we can't really talk about this movie that much. But yep, that's made on Seattle one. So yep. Next is Minions the Rise of Gru. Yeah, this is another movie that we keep talking about every week. Every week we're talking about Minions the Rise of Gru. Okay, it's done so well. Not as well as Top Gun. Not as well as Rigs Rise with Top Gun, but this movie has done extremely well Rigs Rise that we're still talking about by the end of the month. But not as well as Top Gun, but it has done pretty well for a movie of its caliber. So yeah, that's basically about Minions the Rise of Gru. And it was really not, not really much movie time, but you talk about Poe, which again didn't really do all too well at the box office. Just like its predecessor X, okay, as well. And yeah, that's basically about this box office. Another abysmal box office here. And that's basically about this video. Goodbye.